guys, so it's Carol Sean back for another motivational video. If you like my motivational videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, you guys, as you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to talk about five habits that can change your life. These are the habits that I have adopted in my life. And as you can see, it has completely changed my life. In the year's time, I am much happier, much more positive, a lot of things have happened for me just by changing my habits and I want to share that with you guys today. Okay you guys so the first thing is to be a positive thinker. This is something I had to work on because naturally in my blood in my family we are negative thinkers. We hardly ever give anybody praise or be positive. We're usually griping on what somebody's done in the past and keep bringing it up and holding old grudges and things like that. So I had to make a conscious decision to let that be left in the past, to stop it with my generation, stop it with my kids as much as I can. So now instead of just being negative and thinking negative about things, I will take it for what it is. I will think about, you know, what happened and what is the positive and the negative that comes out of it. And am I going to dwell on the negative or try to move past the negative to get to the positive? Because sometimes it can be a stretch. Sometimes negativity can happen on that Monday. You have to work on it, work on it until you're positive about it on a Friday. But while you're doing that, don't dwell on it. Don't talk about it. Don't keep bringing it up. Just think about ways that you can turn that negative into a positive or just go through that stage that you have to go through at that moment and it will eventually turn into a um, better stage or you'll get more positive or something that will resolve itself, whatever the case may be. It just depends on the problem that you're having, but make sure you're trying to keep as positive as possible. In the morning time, I wake up and I just think about all the things that I could get done, all the ways I've been blessed. And so I try to use it as a way to stay positive throughout the day. So my next thing that changed my life is exercise. And so you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I used to be a runner. I got sick, I have Crohn's disease, and I had to have a surgery, and that stopped me from exercising. Exercising for me was not just a weight loss tool. I didn't really use it to lose weight. I used it to relieve stress. Running helped me relieve stress. Uh, exercising helps me relieve stress. It, relieve, it releases happy endorphins according to science. So I don't necessarily use exercise to lose weight. I do or want to like to lose weight because you know back in the day I was pretty fit and toned so I didn't really have to worry about weight but now my weight is kind of out of control. I'm getting a little bit older so I am using it for weight as well but I also use it to make me be as positive as possible. Help me keep me in a good mood. Help me relieve a lot of stress or frustration that I have going on in my life. So that is why I like to exercise and it's truly truly changed my life. My third thing I did to change my life was create goals. I was somebody who never created goals. I had things I wanted to do and I usually achieved them but I never set goals or time limits or deadlines or anything like that so some things that I wanted to do I eventually got them done but it took me way more time than it should have because I didn't set a timeline for me to complete those goals so as you guys know I think I have a video about how to set goals and be productive and all that kind of stuff so I'll link it somewhere down below for you guys to check it out but basically I set goals by the year by the quarter and by the month and that way I'm giving myself a timeline to get certain things done and make sure that I'm doing them in a timely manner and make sure that I am progressing the way that I want to progress and I'm not getting behind on meeting that timeline or meeting that deadline that I set up for myself so make sure you're set setting goals but make sure you break them down enough so that they're attainable that you can do them in stages and that you can do them little by little so you can achieve that goal in the time that you want to. So my next tip was to eliminate unhealthy things from your life. So this can be people, places, and things. So first of all, you know, of course, if somebody is super negative, if somebody is super unsupportive, if somebody is a user, a moocher, and they always take from your relationship and they don't give back, then that is somebody you need to eliminate. If a place makes you feel bad, if a place makes you dread going there, whether it could be a job, um, somebody's house, 
avoid going to them places find you a new job i tried to make sure i cleared up everything that i had going on in my life that caused me any type of negativity caused me to feel any type of way felt me caused me to feel used or unappreciated i eliminated it from my life and also things so you guys know last year Last year. year before last I did the Comrie fly lady method I had 31 days of decluttering my whole house I have that link down below in case you want to look at that series as well so I went through 31 days of clearing everything out of my house you guys I had so much stuff and a lot of clutter just makes you feel closed in closed off and claustrophobic so I decided to have a huge clear out of my house and get rid of anything that I didn't want, anything that I didn't need, anything that I wasn't going to use and I have been better for it. So make sure you are clearing out and get rid of anything that you don't need or use or doesn't bring you happiness so that like I said that can be a person, a place, or a thing. Okay, so the next habit is to create routines. I never create a routine. I just did things willy-nilly and that was it. If it got done, it got done. If it didn't, it, it didn't. And now I find that now that I have certain days that I do things, certain times that I do things, I am getting a lot of things done. So I started to create routines for when I clean up, routines from when I'm recording my videos, routines from when I'm meeting with clients, routines from like what to do after work, when I'm going shopping for groceries, when I'm going to do this or when I'm going to do that or blocking off time to spend with friends and family and my kids. And by doing that, I'm able to get everything I want done even for myself. So in there, I make sure I schedule self-care time as long, along with friend time, along with family time. And I find that everybody gets as much of me that I can possibly give. Now, it doesn't always work out. Sometimes my friends are like, girl, I ain't heard from you in weeks. And sometimes my kids are like, mom, we ain't been anywhere. And sometimes you'll get off track, but you just have to stop, think about it, refresh, and then re evaluate what you're doing and how you're doing it so like I said create routines it doesn't mean that it's always going to work it doesn't mean that the routine doesn't have to be tweaked sometimes it doesn't mean that the routine may have to be completely overhauled but you need to have some type of routine to make sure you can get everything done that you want to get done in your life in a day in a month in a year or five years or six years whatever your timeline is create routines and make sure that you are being as productive and you're being as happy and as um i guess blessed as you want to be <laughs> okay you guys so that is the end of this video if you enjoyed my habits of changing your life if you use any habits if you have any habits that you've created for yourself that seems to work out great for you in your life leave them in the comments below i would love to see what you guys have going on and maybe i can incorporate it into my habits so if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye